what's going on, Scorpios? Butch Tarot here. Uh, I'm going to do your July monthly read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. Uh, for all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Um, if you're looking for a personal read, a little more in depth, uh, I offer those on my website, uh, butchtarot.com. Uh, that link will also be in the description box. Uh, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Always feel free to comment down below. And let's get it. Here's what we have for Scorpio. Alright, Scorpio. So the first thing I see is I feel like you're either dealing with someone or you just were dealing with someone um, that was because we have the Six of Cups. So I mean, this is someone from your past. I feel like that person was there were some things that you weren't seeing. Some things going on that was right in front of you, but you weren't seeing them. I feel like they were being sneaky. I feel like... I feel like... They, like, I feel like they stopped giving the situation, and I feel like that was confusing to you, because I feel like things seemed like they were going good. But then all of a sudden they just went cold on you. They stopped giving to, 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 to the situation. And I feel like... Like I feel like it, it caught you off guard. Because like I said, I feel like things were going good. But then all of a sudden they went cold on you. And that's where we have that two of swords. Like... Not seeing what's right in front of you. I feel like this person. I, I, I feel like there's a lot of sneakiness. I feel like there may be. There may even be somebody else. Um, but like I said. I feel like this is. This is something that recently. Happened or is going to happen. Like I feel like this is going to. This is all going to come to an end. Because I feel like you're gonna start to see what it is that you had and what you didn't see before. You're gonna start to see things a little more clearly. You know, I feel like this person possibly took you for granted. You know, didn't see the value that they had with you. But this all is is really it, you know it's not going to seem like a good thing when it happens but trust me from what i see here like you're looking at the negatives instead of the positives when this when this happens you're going to be looking at the negatives and not the positives the positives is you find out this person isn't who you thought they were the positives is you're going to have 
you have other opportunities. You have at least one other opportunity. There's something else coming up for you. And like I said, sometimes people, you know, when you figure out who you're really dealing with, sometimes their true colors come out. And, and it sucks. I mean, it sucks to be hurt by someone. It sucks to, you know, have someone kind of try to play you for a fool. And when you find out, it's hard to look at the positives. But it's all about perspective. Every bad relationship was just a life lesson into what, you know, into your future. It, it teaches you something and you got to take something out of it. Because if you're not taking anything out of it, then you're not really getting the full value of it. You know, when someone takes advantage of you or someone shows their true colors, right there, the perspective that you need to look at is the fact that you're seeing this person now for who they are. You're not, wa not going to waste any more time with this person because now you finally see. I feel like you didn't see it first, but I feel like you're starting to see. And like I said, you have other options. And from the look of these cards, there's much better options for you. And that's why we need to look at the positives here and not the negatives. Because I see someone, there's someone coming in. There's someone new coming in that wants to make you an offer. And at the end of the day, you're gonna be at a place where you're gonna find happiness because you got rid of this negative energy out of your life. And this person is gonna regret it. I feel like this person, once you see them for who they are, that's when their regret's gonna start because they're gonna realize that they lost you. And you're gonna come out on the winning end here because like I said, there's gonna be someone that comes in that's gonna to wanna to make you an offer. And not only is it just, a, you know, someone coming to make it an offer, but I see a lot of good fortune in this. I feel like, I feel like you needed to get rid of this person that was in your, in your space before. Like, I feel like you're starting to awaken and that's why you finally seen this person for who they truly are. Their true colors starting to shine through. Now, not only is there someone new coming in to make an offer, but I feel like this could be your person. Because not only do they want to make you an offer, but I feel like it's also going to move quite quickly. And I feel like there's actual potential here. You know, with that Hereford card, that union. And this person brings a lot of stability. They bring a lot of loyalty. So everything that you were lacking in this other person, this person is coming up having tons of it. They have integrity, they have loyalty, they have stability, and they also have that love. And I see a lot of forward movement with that chariot card, that cancer energy. And that's again why we see that loyalty. And we had, like I said, the Wheel of Fortune. There's a lot of good fortune coming here. This person coming towards you is going to know what they want. This is going to be the type of person they're going to give and they're going to expect. But they, they won't expect more than they give. So once you see this, meet this person and this person comes forward, they will tell you exactly what they want. And they won't be bullshitting you when you, they tell you. They're not looking to play games. This is a real person. Like I said, built, in, built with integrity. And at the end of the day, when this person comes forward, all this is going to just seem like, like the inevitable did you a favor. Because when people put on false masks, the problem with that is eventually that mask slips. And once that mask slips, it can't go back on. And you're, you're, you're finally you finally seen or you finally will see 
who this person really is. And and like I said, when it happens, it's not gonna it's not gonna feel great. But at the end of the day, you're gonna get what you want. You're gonna see who it is that you've really been dealing with. And and it does suck. But once you see the truth, you're able to move on knowing that you deserve better. And this person coming in is better. You know, they're on a different level altogether. And this is what you deserve. You know, I, I, I truly, I truly believe that there's people out there that the first person they ever are with are the right person for them. That does happen. For everybody else, all those other relationships are just, just learning. You, you, you learn from bad relationships. You have to. You have to take the good with the bad in life. But all those bad relationships make the good ones even better. Because if you've never known a bad relationship, it's harder to see a good one. But like I said, you have options. This person is either already gonna, gonna like they're gonna regret that. As soon as, they, as soon as you figure out who they are, as soon as that mask slips, they're gonna regret playing those games. And I feel like, like I said, I feel like they may have someone on the side or there's somebody else that they're interested in that's not going to work out for them because that that other person is going to figure out their bullshit eventually. So this person just got a whole bunch of lessons to be learned and a lot of painful road ahead of them. Because people that put on false masks, they're not necessarily bad people. They're just people that don't know what they want and they play too many games. And people that play games, there's only one there's only two outcomes in a game. You win or you lose. And they're gonna lose. And at the end of the day, you're gonna end up better off. Like I said, that looking at the negative instead of the positive. I mean, at the end of the day, you have you have options. This other person, it's never gonna work out until they figure it out themselves. But you're not the person that's gonna teach them. You know, they're going to regret losing you. I can feel that. But you're not going to regret losing them. So at the end of the day, you're going to come out ahead here. Uh, you got someone that's that knows what they want. Someone that's very stable. Someone that's very grounded. Someone that's very balanced. Someone that's very loyal. And someone that has integrity. So I feel like you're going from one, one, one side of the spectrum right to the other. So, I mean, you got a big month coming up. Like I said, a lot of good fortune. A lot of stability. You know, things are coming up good for you. And that other person, they get what they deserve. Karma, karma sucks. Karma's a bitch. But hopefully they'll learn. But this isn't about them. It's about you. And for you... You're getting what you deserve. You're getting someone that, you know, that's someone that brings, brings a lot to the table. And like I said, this person doesn't, won't expect anything from you that they're not willing to do themselves. I mean, you're getting a true partner here. So we have some, some Cancer, some Leo, some Taurus. I feel like you could be dealing with a water sign, another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, with some earth in their charts as well as some fire, or fire, earth and water in their charts, earth, fire, and water. But yeah, I, I, there's a lot of water in this person, so there's a lot of love coming. And like I said, I, I feel like I feel like at first it's not going to seem, you know, it never seems good when, when anything ends. 
but I feel like it's not going to take you long to get over it because you're going to realize the gain that you're gaining, you know, what you're gaining out of this situation and what you weren't getting from that past situation will be fulfilled in this next relationship. You know, you're, you're going from someone that doesn't know what they want, someone that plays games, to someone that absolutely knows what they want and they're not, they don't want a game, they want someone, they want a partner. And like I said, they're gonna they're gonna see you, they're gonna want you, and they're gonna make that offer. And when once they come forward with that offer, they're gonna be serious about it. They're not looking to, you know, bullshit you. And what you see is what you get with this person. Which is like I said, the complete opposite of the person that you know you were dealing with. And like I said, that person you were dealing with could be somebody that you've already broken up with recently, or somebody that you will. But either way, their true colors are gonna show, and that's when things are gonna things are gonna move. Things are gonna happen. And just know that sometimes it gets you know it gets painful. But just realize when you let go of such negative energy in your life, and you got such good energy coming in, it's all meant to be. You know, things happen for a reason. May not make sense when they happen, but we gotta we gotta look at it in like we gotta have that perspective and try to find the good in everything that happens. And and there's a lot of bad shit that happens, but if you can find the good in it, you're already gonna come out ahead. So be good, take care, stay safe, and always trust your intuition.